Okay, here we're looking at a big track from 1979, produced by MB, which is Milton Bradley. These things were released up until the very early 80s. Um, I'll show you a way in a second how you can find out approximately which year your big track was produced. On the outside of it, it looks like some kind of space age tank um, with a number of stickers and decals on it, um, indicating high tech space age big trackage. Um, you've got something here which is a compartment where a 9 volt battery sits. This controls a board that's in here and also this keypad. Um, on the front here we've got the photon laser that will flash when you give the Big Mac, the Big Mac, the Big Track, the appropriate command. If I unscrew this and take it off, you'll see that there's um, a clip for a 9 volt battery in there, um, which hides away nicely when that thing's put back on top. Basically, the wheels, um, you've got two wheels that are basically just there for show. This wheel here is the one that's connected to the gearbox and the drive mechanism within the within the big track. If we look at it from front on, as I say, you've got a photon laser here, which is basically a 2.2 volt bulb, I think. Um, these things here are basically caps where um, you lift those off and do some screws to get into it. If we look at it from behind um, and lift that up there, you can see that that's the back of it and underneath, um, we've got this battery compartment here. This thing is a nightmare. The, the unit takes, um, it, a big track takes four size D batteries, which fit in this housing here. More often than not, those contacts are corroded, but in this case, they look clean. The issue you've got with this is due to the weight, um, due to the weight of the batteries, this compartment's really flimsy. So sometimes it struggles to get contact, um, which can be very frustrating. You'll see something on the wheel here, where you've got a rubber O-ring that goes around the wheel. This adds traction when the thing's moving. In the middle, we've got a gearbox. Um, there's a whole paraphernalia of cogs inside here, and a magnetic clutch that keeps the wheel movements the same. The unit does make a sequence of beeping noises and as such there's a loud speaker that we have just inside here um, where you can hear the noise that the thing makes when it's functioning. So um, this particular example was purchased for 10 quid off eBay um, and another couple of quid postage on top of that. Um, it's in quite a dirty state and the plastic's quite yellow. I'm going to try and give it a clear up. Um, you might be able to see that on this switch there's a lot of residue that could be anything um, it looks like corroded battery stuff so hopefully it's not um, too bad one thing I've just noticed here that I should tell you is there's a little hatch cover um, and you'll see a socket in there that socket is to hook up your big track transport that would attach to this and you could use this function here out and the, and the big track would empty the contents of its um, trailer onto the floor on command. So that's it from the outside, let's take a look at the beast within.